Stephen Alson, full-time devils outside Old Trafford. Chaos is raining a little bit. It's literally, I was just sitting there, I was in the north stand, and I just saw all the Stratford end just being evacuated, and all of a sudden, the whole stadium, it was a code red or red code, I don't know which one was announced, and then all of a sudden, we've just been told to evacuate. What the f is going on? They're supposed to be doing f***ing checks on them here, do you know what I mean? Not everybody, we're getting checked when we're going in the ground, so how is someone getting in with something that's supposed to be so big? In the f***ing bag or the pocket, it's supposed to be checked, mate, do you know what I mean? A mm, lot, lot of singing, you know, spirits are quite high, no one was... Uh getting aggressive over it was completely fine. The stewards were in well right with us as well actually. No one was like, having a go They spoke to us, they weren't yeah, being yeah. vague. They told us that um it's a code red and they, they, they've never seen anything like this before. First time it's happened on this, this guy's shift. Um he's quite an older steward so he's clearly got experience doing it. So uh yeah a bit of a one off really. Did anyone say anything to the stewards? Um No we've just come straight out, we've left everything in there thinking that we were going back in and now it's been abandoned. Don't know why. But. Are you gutted? Yeah, definitely. We don't get to see another nil-nil at half-time? No. <laughs> I paid 80 quid to come in the train to watch a game, and no game, so that's 80 quid gone. After about 10 minutes, I stood round to everyone talking, and uh, the stewards actually ran at us and said, right, evacuate, evacuate. So we were like, oh, say, first down the steps. Didn't spill my beer, though, don't worry about that. <laughs> so it was, it was odd. I went and checked in in the press box and then came out to meet some people and then went back in and someone went it's like the Etihad in there which I'm sure you've heard a lot today and I went out and I was like did a double take because the two sides of the ground were completely empty so the Sir Alex stand and the Stretford end were both completely cleared out and there was like half full K stand all the away fans in and all the press what are you going to do the rest of your day cry <laughs> I, don't know I know what you should do go have a beer a bit, I don't drink ah. Doubly worse for him. So, Jerdy, your first game at Old Trafford, and this happens. Firstly, what happened? Where were you when it happened? How do you feel? Well, I was sat in the East Stand at the 334, and basically everyone in front of us was being evacuated. We actually thought it was some kind of a drill before the game, but eventually it got serious, and we were uh, like refreshing the BBC page. That's where we got to know that there has, the game has been abandoned, actually. So you found out everything from on your phone, not really in the ground? Uh, no, um, no, 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 nothing on the ground, no. People are flying out, not getting really told anything until the Tanai uh, announcement. Just move away from the stadium, move to the car park, which, you know, being United, we don't, we all stand there, you know, <laughs> it'll be all right. I think no no one told us anything, but they just said to remain in our seats. And people started getting annoying and started complaining. And I think that communication here isn't good enough to the fans. If you're going to be like this, you might as well not have any supporters. When you walked into that East Stand and you saw the pitch for the first time, how did you feel? Well, I was actually in tears. I actually texted a friend of mine. I was like, it's glorious, man. I'm just in tears. I was waiting for the game to start and this happens. Obviously, you don't like to joke about things which could be really serious, but, you know, I've come for the day out. <laughs> Missing another game of Lou Van Gaal football is not the most disappointing. Of course, it's terrible for people that have come vast distances. Maybe this is their first United game or whatever, and all they're going to get to do is come meet you, and that's going to be the highlight of their day, isn't it? They're going to be buzzing. <laughs> <laughs> Best game of football we've seen all season, isn't it? That? At least the football didn't ruin your day, eh? I was actually kind of hoping it would, but... <laughs> <laughs> Will you come back for the game? Certainly, yeah. Yeah, yeah no problem. Back. We'll be back. We're always back. Aren't we? Obviously, the reasons are horrible, but there is a kind of uh, some odd metaphorical depth to what's happened here. That it's like, yeah, of course, United's season has ended in kind of chaos and confusion because that's what sort of season it's been, isn't it? Three years after Fergie's gone, we're still all here. We still love United, and when success comes back, it'll all be sweet. Love ya. See you later. <laughs>